Recent wildfires, including the 2023 Lookout Fire affecting the H.J. Andrews Experimental Forest, are prompting new questions about wildfire, climate change, and evolving approaches to fire management. For more than a century, firefighting relied heavily on direct attack fire suppression, creating fire containment lines directly along the fire perimeter. In recent years, safety concerns, especially for firefighter safety, combined with intensifying fire behavior driven by climate change, are prompting the adoption of indirect fire suppression methods, relying strongly on the use of existing roads as fire lines. Since the 1950s, research at the Andrews Forest has addressed roads and their many facets of their environmental consequences, making this a useful place to study this new chapter in the history of forest roads. Here are examples of indirect firefighting tactics along roads. Note that most of these concern fuels management to control fire spread and intensity. Shaded fuel breaks are created in anticipation of wildfire and during a fire by thinning to make a more defendable fire line to prepare for backburning. Mechanical brushing is conducted to remove vegetation that has grown along the roadsides. Limbs and small trees are cut and chipped along the roadsides adjacent to the fire. The wood chips are blown into the forest on the opposite roadside away from the fire. Before, during, and after fires, hazard trees and snags that might fall onto the road are cut up to one or two tree heights away from the roads to meet safety objectives. During fires, dozer lines are cut through the forest to create fire lines where roads are absent. As wildfire approaches, backfires are set along roadsides or other fire lines to consume fuel and to block the fire's progress. In the rehabilitation process after a fire, woody material may be moved to cover dozer and hand lines to control erosion. Roadside seeding of native species may be conducted to discourage the establishment of non-native species and to control erosion. Weed-free straw may also be applied to control erosion. In summary, these roadside practices have a mix of objectives and possible consequences, including fuels reduction to help manage current fires and possible future fires. Roadside maintenance like brushing and hazard tree removal can help keep forest roads open for all uses. Site rehabilitation measures are used to address soil erosion, hydrology, and invasive plants originating from fire and firefighting efforts. In the H.J. Andrews Forest, we have the opportunity to learn more about the extent and possible positive and negative effects of these and other practices in hopes of increasing their effectiveness along with the well-being of the environment in these times of dramatic change in fire, climate, and our engagements with the land.